Hey there, today I'm going to teach you how to draw Krusty the Clown. So let's start in the middle of his face with his nose. So we're going to do a squashed oval, starting from the top, work our way around to the left, up to the right, and back up to the top again. Now in the center, I got eyes on both sides from center, so we'll start with the eye on the left. So starting here, I'm just going to get this nose to overlap it. So starting here, going around and drawing a perfect circle that gets tucked underneath that nose. And then the right eye gets tucked underneath the nose and this eye. So I'll start up here on the left eye, work my way around, and come back underneath the nose. And for the pupils, I want the eyes to be kind of pointing in opposite directions. So on the top left here, I'll draw a little black circle. And on the right side, I'll draw a little black circle. Now from here, I'm going to work my way down to the mouth. So on the, side, on the left side of the nose here, I'm just draw a curve going down. And on the right side, I'm going to draw a right, curve going down. And then just below this line, I don't want to touch the bottom of the, uh, those lines, so I'm going to draw an upward curve. It kind of goes like this, leaving a gap on both sides. And then I'm going to draw a row of teeth along the top. So starting here on the left, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and five, and just tuck that underneath the upper lip. And then here I'm going to draw the bottom of the mouth. So starting on the left, so I want to come down to right about here with an open mouth. So starting behind this tooth, I'm going to curve down in towards each other. And then over here, I'm just going to come in a little bit and draw a curve. So the curves are kind of coming this way. And then they eventually come back around and connect. So doing sort of like a wide U shape that goes up. Then on the bottom here, I'm just going to draw two curves like this for the tongue. And then just color the inside in black. And from here, I'm going to go to the side of the mouth here and just draw a curve around that edge of the mouth. And then on this side, I'm going to do a little bit of an overlap and curve around and behind that tooth. Now from here, I'm going to curve down around the contour of that mouth. I'll do the same thing on this side. So curving in and then just wrapping around the bottom of that mouth. Kind of like that. And then over here, I'm going to draw one ear. So here on the cheek, I'll just draw a curve that comes around and hooks around like this. And then on the bottom here, I'm just going to draw a curve that goes out for the inner part of the ear. Over here by the eye, I'm just going to curve around. This is sort of for like the, the cheekbone. And then over here, I'm just going to draw a curve for another ear. Now from here, I'm going to have to work my way around the hair first before I get to the top of the head. So here, just above the ear, I'm going to draw a curve and then another curve that goes outwards. This is going to kind of work my way around the hair. So the hair basically comes up and kind of gets tapered to a point. So I'm just going to put my finger right about here. So I'm going to draw a curve like this, but along the way I'm going to draw these little loops or these curves. So starting at the top, it doesn't matter if they're the same size or a little bit bigger or smaller, as long as I make my way back to that point there. Okay. Now from here I kind of want to go around this way, sort of like a backwards S doing these little loops so I get a little bit thicker as I go and I want to keep my eye on this point right here. I kind of want to make my way back around to that point. So back in. Okay, so I'll leave a little gap here. Underneath here his neck actually comes down. So just below this cheek I'm just going to draw a diagonal line that allows me to finish that off there. I'll go on this side of the head and just draw a line going down for the side of the neck. Now from here I can draw the side of the head here. So Right about this side of the eye, I'm going to draw a curve that kind of comes in. On this side of the eye, I'm just going to draw a curve above the eye for the sort of like the brow line. Now from here, now I can start, I can draw the hair flipped over on this way. So at the furthest point here, I'm just going to draw a point here just to give myself a point of reference. I'm going to curve these little hoops all the way down into that eye. Now like I did on this side here, I want to draw a curve that kind of goes that like, almost like a uh, S shape that goes back into the neck around this point. So as I'm going along, I'll come down and then tuck that into that neck. All right. Now from here, now I can curve all the way up to the top of the head. So starting here, I'm going to curve up and leave a gap in the middle of the head. I'll start here and curve up to the same height. Now from here, I can draw three upward curves like so. 
I'll wrap around to the top and kind of do like a peak, kind of like a snow cone on top. So there's the head. Let's get into the neck. So I'm going to draw, start with the, the bow tie first. So I'm going to draw a circle in the middle. I'll come up here below the chin. I'll come down and then tuck that in underneath that circle on the left. On this side, on the right, I'll come down and tuck it in underneath the circle on the right. And I'll just draw two little slits going across from the circle. Let's go up here to the neck. I'm going to do a little bit of an overlap and do an upward sort of curve or an arch that goes across the neck. Angle these two lines going down for the collar. And I'm going to connect them underneath this bow tie with a curved line. Let's get to the shoulder on the left first because this kind of gets overlapped on top of the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a, a backward C. Starting right about here, curve around. This is for a sleeve. I'll connect these two points with an inward curve like so. Then from here I'll start a, a little bit higher than center and curve down. I'll do the same thing on the bottom side. Here at this point I'm going to curve around behind that arm and connect on the other side. Now from here I can draw the hand. So from this point I'm going to do an overlap. Draw a curve that goes in and then do a curve that goes all the way around. For the one side of the hand, let's go up here and draw a thumb that curves around. Draw a curve or a straight line like this. And now he's got three fingers on each side, so I'm going to draw kind of a curve that comes out. Rolls around, so it basically rounds out on the inside of the finger. Comes out again, rounds out on the inside, comes back out, and then connects with that point there. In the middle part of the hand, I'm just going to draw a little curve like that. Up here on the cuff, to draw a curve around just for the cup of his glove. Let's get into the body now. So uh, right about here, I'm going to draw the chest. So at this point, I'm going to draw a curve for the upper part of the chest. And his belly and his lower torso is basically a circle, but there's some open gaps here. So I'm going to start up here, do a little bit of an overlap, and come down to the outside of his belly. I'll go over here, and I'll draw right about here an outward curve, kind of rounding out the belly, connecting these two points with an upward curve like that. Let's get into the legs. So here I'm going to draw a little bit of an overlap and draw a curve on both sides that kind of come in a little bit because it sort of gets rounded out at the bottom here. So I'm going to imagine a circle going around like this, locate the center and draw a little curve, kind of like that. From this point here, go down to the bottom of the legs. So I'm going to come down with a curve. Here at this point, I'll just come down with a curve and then I'll connect those two points with an upper curve. Here on this side I'm going to do the same thing. So coming down to the same height as I did on the left. Up here, come down to the same height. And then connecting those two points with an upward curve. On this side here I'm going to draw the flaps of his pants. So starting at this point I'm going to curve out, come down, back up. It's sort of like a wavy pattern that goes across like that. Do the same thing on this side here. So out, up, down, up, down to the right side, and then back up again. Over here, let's finish off with the foot. So here, I'm going to follow this line down past this cuff. Come down, up, down, and then roll this all the way around like so. And then just finish off with a little curve like that. This side, let's do the same thing. So coming down, going across, down again, and then towards the toe, and curling around. Leaving a gap here, and then just finishing off with a curve like that for the foot. Let's go to the final arm. So up here, I just want to match this cuff over on this side, or the sleeve on this side. So doing a curve, and then doing a sharp curve in towards the belly. Like I did over here, I'm going to draw the top part of the arm first. And again, making sure that both arms are about the same thickness. I'll close this off with a, with a curve. Let's draw the thumb first. So curving out and then back in. I'll do an overlap here for the palm of his hand. And then again, drawing three fingers. So coming out, rounding out the inner part of the hand. Out again, rounding out. And then one last finger and then in. And do a sharp curve like that around the back part of the hand. 
So here I will draw a curve like that. And then again, another cuff. And I think that's it. There we have it. There's Krusty the Clown. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like, share this with your friends and get them to subscribe. We'll see you again soon.